right, this is a weekly love reading for Scorpio. And your affirmation for this week is, I am filled with excitement when I look in the mirror. I've been there. Um, <laughs> so let's see. It could be for many different reasons. So anyway. Um, I do have a channeled message for you at the end. It could be for you. It might not. But it's, it's uh, something, you know. Um, so let's see. What, what are characteristics of your beloved person? We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is uh, sensitivity. So your person might be a little bit sensitive. Um, so there's being frank um, and goodness. There are positive qualities. However, they, are, they will not help you to solve your current situation. Danger and becoming alienated from reality is necessary to wait for the inflow of inspiration. So this person could be also an artist. So, um, you know, they're very sensitive. They, they're kind of, there's cages too. They might have sensitive hearing. Um, so let's see. Uh, Number two is the attitude of your person towards you. You have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is kind of drama and criticism. So, a new pleasure, however, it is necessary to take caution and uh, verify it is based on firm foundation. Nice appearance may be de deceptive. If you check at the crux of the matter, you will be able to stand up to the future uh, troubles. So there's <laughs> there's a little bit of a uh, you know stuff going on. They might actually talk to you on a more critical basis or dramatic base, um, but it's it's to get out everything that's happening around you. Okay, so number three. We have your attitude towards this person. We have the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is fear and anxiety. Doubts based on previous experience. Pay more attention. Be patient. Try to be persistent. An unfavorable period will make many uh other decisions or any decisions as a matter of fact possible okay so um, might need to think about everything right now um, I feel like you're not sure about this person you're kind of like you don't know if like they're there for you or not um, you're always like uh, paranoid you're just like oh my gosh how are they feeling about me what's going on is this going to work out? Are we going to be financially secure? Is the rain going to fall on us? And stuff like that. But you're like chicken little in the middle of like reality. <laughs> and this person's kind of like the idealistic person where they're like, it might happen, but what if it doesn't? Like they're the white queen on, on Alice in Wonderland, the, the real version, you know, Anne Hathaway. Fun stuff. Anyway. So, number four, current life situation of your beloved person. We have the four of swords, which is work and personal. So, um, activity, break, so something in succession, let's see, just as the nature gains energy, in the winter to fit for the following season. Uh, for human beings, it's a good time for rest and energy regeneration. So they might kind of be in one of those things where they're just taking a vacation. Um, they're in dormancy. They, they don't want to deal with life right now. So number five. Number five is uh, your beloved person bound to something. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is loss of security, sticking 
to a chosen way even though it, you do not know what to expect at in the end. A possible occurrence of difficult sections, modesty, temperance will be good guides. So this is kind of, uh, it could be bound to like a relationship, uh, like they could have a kid. I feel like that, that could be a thing. Um, but it's something that is, that they can't really change. So I think it's a kid, you know, or a relationship. So let's see, number six. Is your beloved person ready to come closer to you? <laughs> we have the magician. Um, I, I feel like it's going to happen like um, within time. Or if you're at the right place the right time. Uh, so a connection to creative energy. You finally stop casting doubts upon, upon yourself. And finally discover your own values. Vision for something that could happen. And possibility of recognition. A great potential and compatibility of using it. So there's <laughs> there's an idealistic point of view. Like this person doesn't have to be like coming near you in order for you to be creative and actually find a way to meet them. So there's there's that too. They might be creative too. They might ha find a creative way to approach you. Anyway, number seven should. You should you become closer to your person? We have Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is satisfaction, effect, diligence, and hard work will bring results. Even though it may seem that the goal is far away as um, essentially saying, you know, it's not 100% there, the reward will come soon. So, so you might actually have a chance to get closer to your person. Um, it, it's just timing. It's down to timing. So, your channel message is indecision and wrong conclusion forced to others. So there's probably uh, some miscommunication or something that happened that wasn't 100% honest or 100% truthful. So, miscommunication, press releases, or, you know, just a hoax. There could be a hoax um, on something you did, or if you're in social media, there's, like, crazy nonsense. But, yeah, there's, there's something going on here that's kind of making it into a unreasonable um, block. Okay, so there's that. Anyway, Scorpio, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> Anything can happen between here and next week. But I feel like this might uh, kind of be in the works. It's not 100% set in stone yet. But it's in the works. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, Scorpio, uh, hopefully this helped you out. Gave you a, a different, you know, a, a different perspective. I feel like you might be checking the mirror a lot. Um, making sure um, it is real what you're seeing. And you want, you kind of want to see how your person's mirroring you. If you're insecure, they are, they're, they're going to mirror that. If you're okay, they'll be okay. If you both are freaking out, it's totally awesome and cute. But yeah, you both are going to be freaking out. You're going to be nervous wrecks and a mess. Um, if you cry, they're going to cry. Okay? That's how you know if they're mirroring you. But it's like... Um, yeah, I, I believe your affirmation is actually finding your own human mirror that will actually feel the same feelings you do. It's going to be extraordinary awesome. And that jacade is driving me nuts. Alright, anyway, Scorpio, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form, gave you a new perspective. Um, I feel like you're going to meet your twin flame, and that's why all the mirror stuff is coming. You might actually have already met your person, but it's, 
it's the fact that you both mirror each other with emotions and um, activities and stuff. So you might actually realize that. Anyway, I will leave it here because that Jakeda is driving me mad. He's probably sitting on my window. He's right outside my window. He's on that branch. Ugh. Anyway, I will see you latest. Alright?